This video demonstrates the use of the BioLover RPM device for precise RPM calibration of biogram turntables. For more information, please visit my blog at biolover.blogspot.com or go to my website at www.biolover.com. This shows the BioLover RPM device with its three mounting adapters. There is a dovetail at the bottom and this dovetail accepts uh, these adapters and so this here configures the BioLover RPM for direct use on top of the assembled uh, biogram. Now I can take this off and put one of those frame clamps on the BioLover RPM and so with these clamps it fits directly on the uh, frame of the biogram when it's in service position. So there are two of them because they made these biograms with two different frame thicknesses and so depending on which one you have you can select here the uh, fitting clamp. The basic use of the BioLover RPM is very simple. Let me first demonstrate how to use it directly on top of a fully assembled biogram. Here the example of a beautiful biogram 4000. So all you need to do is um, plug in the biogram to a USB power supply or directly to your computer and um, start up the turntable and so after a while the measurement stabilizes and then it's time to adjust the RPM and so here you see now when the minimum maximum values come up that means that the device has itself calibrated and now we can adjust the RPM so every second you get an updated value here on the display and that's about it. And so here we go. Now it's adjusted. When the deck is in service position then um, of course you use one of those frame clamps and again you s just plug it in and put it on the uh, frame and then uh, you start up the turntable and then you can adjust the um, RPM. The baseline adjustment of the RPM is done with trimmers on the main board and so here in the example of the 4000 um, I'm adjusting the 33 RPM setting. And here we go. If the BioLover RPM device is connected to a computer's USB port then um, the RPM can be logged over long periods of time and so you see here curves that were measured over 24 hours. This is at the example of a DC motor biogram 4002 and you see here the bottom curve when I initially received it it had uh, severe RPM variations so one couldn't really listen to records on this deck. And then after restoring the motor and putting in new RPM trimmers and a new RPM relay it got pretty good already and then after putting LEDs into the user accessible uh, uh, trimmers in the control cluster then uh, the RPM was very stable again. And so you see here that the BioLover RPM is very useful for diagnosing and qualifying uh, biograms uh, to make sure that the RPM performance is up to specifications. It's straightforward to take advantage of this data stream that comes from the RPM device. Um, all you need is some terminal software. This here is CoolTerm, which is a great choice on the Mac. Uh, it's a, a, a free app that you can download. The link is on my um, BioLover RPM page on the blog. Now once CoolTerm is open, then you can go here into Options, select the right driver. And of course this driver needs to be installed for the BioLover RPM device. A link is also on my um, blog. And so then um, what remains here is to select the right baud rate and click OK and then we can connect to the BioLover RPM and now you get every 10 seconds you will get a uh, RPM measurement. So as long as nothing dramatic happens it sends in 10 seconds intervals approximately but when the turntable slows down because of a motor uh, hiccup or a relay mal malfunction then it starts sending at faster intervals. And so I'm simulating this here now by slowing down the turntable with my finger a little bit. And so you see here we get measurement values whenever a deviation occurs. That ensures that you don't miss out on any events. 
while the 10 second intervals keeps the number of uh, entries here at bay if you run this for 24 hours, right? Then you get a, a few thousand uh, measurement values. So this uh, log here can simply be copy pasted, right? Just mark it and, and hit paste, uh, a copy. And then you can put it in a software like Excel or whatever else you use for making graphs. And you can get a graph that like the ones that I just uh, showed. All right, now you know what you could do with my BioLover RPM device. If you're interested in getting one, just send me an email or use the uh, contact form on the blog. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.